So you go guys, warming up the National. Friggin' needed it too, what a whore, holy crap. Just did not want to start even with full choke on. Until I warmed it up, gave it some full throttle and uh, needs a new tube again. Gonna have to try some kind of a, uh... oh, maybe that's the old tire then. That tube doesn't look very new. But uh, I keep splitting splitting valve stems on the front end, so I'm either gonna have to like super glue the rim to the tire like we do with RC cars or something like that because I keep losing tubes on the front end and it's always the valve that splits. But other than that, the National is running awesome. So she's ready for pugs, like just pretty much as it is. Only thing I might do is put smaller tires on the back to make it a little less tippy, but uh, other than that, it's, it's perfect. Just give it an oil change tube, possibly change rear tires, and that's it for this guy. So I'm taking this one to pugs. We're taking my brother's National to pugs for May 2-4. So this tractor's going to be there, this one's going to be there, most likely with the twin on it. Unless the twin has some serious issues, like throwing a rod or something before I end up going there. Uh, if the twin has issues, I'll be running the 12 horse, which I will also bring with me on May 2-4 just in case. Along with the spare transmission. My Peerless 820 hasn't been built yet, but uh, or maybe, maybe I won't bring that. Basically, if the transmission blows, it's done. You know, I'll change it when I get home kind of thing. But uh, yeah, they're both coming, and so is Nate's tractor, which looks, well, <laughs> used to look like that. So that's mine. That's the one I got off uh, Redneck Rec for parts. As you can see, it's in the process of being torn down, took the engine and everything off of it, and I gotta take the wheels, handlebars, and stuff off it so I can throw it in the shed, doesn't have to sit out here. And uh, yeah, I went for a test and tune day at Pugs and found out that I thought for sure I was gonna end up bending the hubs, but I actually ended up bending this big holder piece. So I gotta reinforce the holder piece. I'm pretty sure both of the hubs are bent back this way from when I was smashing the igloo so I'm pretty sure I bent both of them back and uh, so I have to jam a big piece of bar in there and friggin bend it the other way and then reinforce it and stuff as you can see the bar looks like it's slightly bent back or I might just take the bar off and flip it around yeah. that way they're pushed forward again and then reinforce it. Yeah, that's probably what I'll do. I'll just flip that bar, this whole support bar, just flip it right around. And uh, then these will be facing forward, and I can just reinforce it as is. And uh, that's about it, really, for this one. I did the clutch and everything. My hand clutch is hooked up again. It wasn't working all that good at Pugs, but that's just because I need a new handle. It's a cheap, cheap plastic handle. I need a better one. But it was working when I uh, went out the second time after tightening up all the cables and stuff. So everything's basically good. All I gotta do is swap the motor and uh, drop the front end if I can. Because I plan on dropping the front end about four inches, four or five inches. So that the motor will actually sit down here somewhere, somewhat in between the tires to give me better handling. So that'll be nice. But I uh, thought I'd give you guys that update, so that's, that's the kind of work I got to do before we go to Pugs. And we also get to get my brother's tractor going.